What are we gonna get out of this? Somehow one paper, but 371 billion sand. If I'm reading that correctly, we should get 371 billion for selling them. Yep, we're up to 1.11 trillion gold. So what do you do when you have 6 million gold, max level, only 4 hours into the game? Well, we obviously need more lighthouses and less land, because this just isn't good enough. And a bigger backpack probably wouldn't hurt, because I can't even pick that up. But I don't even care. Unfortunately, to do this, we're gonna need the obliterator. But luckily for me, I did do all of this, so it shouldn't take long at all. The first thing we need is a factory. Three royal steel. Boy, I sure hope I have enough stuff to make some royal steel. Should probably also build a vault in the meantime, that way I can actually have some room again. But what do it take to actually break this game? Why are these so big? Get smaller. Still gonna be a little while before we get there, but not nearly as long as you think. Time to do the whole plastic thing, which means I need this. I really should just unlock the rest of the skills, but I'm being really lazy. That also helps you find coal when digging, so great. I'm gonna make a few of these and I am gonna put them by the lighthouses. I don't think they're gonna have any effect on that, but I'm gonna destroy them afterwards anyway. So for now, they're happy. Now to make the world's biggest bottle depot. The first thing we need is lots of glass. And I assume I already have quite a bit of that, but we're gonna make more. So we'll go ahead and make a few forges and get things rolling. Back to the waiting game. But as soon as I can, I'm gonna start making plastic and make power plants to supercharge everything here. Because, believe it or not, I don't like waiting. I guess while I am doing nothing, I might as well just get the rest of the skills. I don't know what most of them actually do, so hopefully they'll help somehow. The shrines are probably actually something I should have been paying more attention to. There we go. Not sure what half of those do, don't really care. We'll get started on an incredible three bottles each. And maybe a shrine, just because we can. Hopefully this will speed something up. What do we got? All items at double the price, don't need money, purchase lands at half the cost. Well, whatever. I can't wait though. We fit this many lighthouses on a big island. Imagine if we just had a little island, how many more lighthouses we'd squeeze in. While we're waiting, might as well upgrade the sword. I mean pickaxe. I know what that is. And the mighty flower press. Hopefully this can do something right now. I'm gonna need it to build land anyway. At this point, there's not really much I can do. I need a bit of poop before I can do that. That's not really a big deal. I'll either buy that from here or wait till one of the animals drops some up here. We do seem to be getting a slight excess of resources while we're up here. Finally getting some more in the bottles so though. We got about 50 on the way, which should turn into at least a little bit of plastic. But for now. I'm pretty sure though if I build the royal shovel it can find plastic itself so I'm gonna do that because then I can just dig up a million plastics right up here and don't even need to worry about the stupid big eyeball things. Found a spirit orb. Might as well buy one of those because I need more health. Here we go. Hopefully this is worth it. Otherwise I'm gonna have to unlock more islands. I only have five currently and I'm not sure if I can dig plastic up on these. Finally. Dig area increased. Digging always yields ores. Okay well does it find plastic? Is there any plastic to be found? It doesn't appear so. I know I have the perk to find rare items i'm just not sure why i'm not finding any so for the time being i'm going all in on my factory to try and make as much stuff to get the better shovel because i think that's the answer i really hope it is and since i apparently need bottled death moths i think i have to buy an island to the south unless the store happens to sell a few in one minute i didn't want to buy any more islands but i think i have to i'm definitely not sitting here waiting Oh, I wonder if we have enough to buy any more islands. There we go. One should be enough. Even comes with an old guy. My favorite type of people. But on the bright side, we found this moron again, who will drop a chest on your head. Do I have enough? I guess I could spare it. And we need a key. I guess if I also need demon horns, I should kite this idiot all the way up to my lighthouses. That shouldn't be too hard. He's very willing to follow me. That's right. I'm this way. Almost there. I think right about here is the prime spot for uh, getting resources. So let's see what happens. First demon horns I found. Okay, can you come over here, please? There we are. Only 14 of them. I was hoping for more, though. Also, do I have a key yet? Yep. Passive health and energy regeneration because I'm not already basically invincible. What does your shrine do? Digging spots? I love these. Hopefully there's lots of good stuff down there. Maybe digging spots surrounded by lighthouses would be the way to go. It's really kind of just settling in now exactly how expensive this shovel is going to be. Experiment time. What happens if I build a bridge way out into no man's land and try and buy an island out there? Are we allowed to do that? Are we at the edge of the world already? That was fast. All right, well, give me one of them good islands. Nope, you're not allowed to do that. That will break lighthouses. We'll kind of work away up here because I think I need some snowy land. I really hate to say it, but I think I need to buy more of the red islands just to find more of the damn bugs. I don't really care about buying islands at this point. It's just kind of annoying. Yep, sorry, don't mind me. I'm just here for the bugs. Those aren't even the right bugs. Why am I getting the wrong bugs on this island? Let's see what we can make the cows spit out. Here you go. Take it. Take it. 171 at a time. What about you? Just eggs. Well, that at least gives us the poop we need to make the land for the lighthouse idea. I guess since we have the bones, we'll just start in the swords. They're better for mining anyway. And we just need another factory. There's no getting around that. And since I've unlocked the red island specifically for the bottled death moth, I have yet to find any more bottled death moth. They just don't spawn. Wait, we got one. All right, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to buy every red island I possibly can just to try and find more of the dumb bugs. Is this one red? Is this one red? 
bread. How about these ones? Nope, those are getting into skeleton land, which is also fine. I'm sure I'm gonna need their crap too at some point. You know what? In my experience, we just need more bombs. Bombs solve every problem. Surely a few bombs will bring out all those moths we want so bad. I decided it would be a good idea to play with the scrolls, and it killed me. Okay, finally, eight hours later, I finally found the last of the moths I need. So this shovel had better be worth the effort. This is the one I've been looking for. All structures work twice as fast. I like that mostly so that I can have my shovel faster. Digging always yields rare items. That is exactly what I needed because I should be able to dig up the plastic now. I really hope I can. The sound though still gets annoying, even though it's on basically the lowest setting. Did I find anything there? I think I found some plastic there. Either that or it's a coincidence. Is that a stack of paper that's 262,000? Am I reading that correctly? Yep. 262,000 paper. Well, let's do the other kind of crap we can dig up. Mostly plastic, that's all I really want, but at least we're finding assorted junk, so I'll just have a billion everythings. I think there we go, 270,000 topaz, plus 8,000 leathers, and I'm not even nearly done this stupid idea yet. Say we're to sell these things, we're at 6.3 million now, so once we sell the leather, we're at, I don't know what, 6.49 million. Well, how about the paper then? Yeah, those are worth about 3 million by themselves. Here we go again, prime scooping territory. If I see the plastic, I'm gonna try and see exactly how much of it is dropping. I don't think I actually found any there, but I did find like 131,000 eggs, 131,000 poop, and a bunch of other assorted ridiculousness, like 260,000 rubies. These would be worth a fortune. Should we sell those? Let's do it. From 10 million up to 38 million, just from rubies. Unfortunately, the one thing I'm trying to find isn't really showing up in any large amount, the plastic. Before when I did this, oh, there's 102 right there. So actually, never mind. That might have actually also been, yeah, that was actually 1,000, not 100. So there we go, back on track. And now I don't have enough rubies to make royal steel. So, way to think ahead. Since we know of all the plastic in the world, I'm gonna wait for that one royal steel, build a factory, and start building the stuff we need for Obliterator. Now I'm really hoping to find more rubies again, because I really need those suddenly. I like how all of my problems can just be solved digging in the ground. Here's the rubies I needed. Everything there is gonna allow me to make all the royal clothing I'm gonna need. Now it's just a matter of royal steel and whatever else. I am gonna need some of those great skulls, and these guys have some of those. So we're gonna build our way over there, bring them over to my lighthouses, kill them. Should have everything I need pretty much right away. At least I'm hoping. Okay, idiots, cross the bridge. I made it just for you. And they killed me. I should probably upgrade my health at some point. All right, dummies, let's try that again. Come on, dummy, don't get stuck. I need you right here, and I need you to drop me a lot of skulls. He dropped 13. Not really enough, but I'll get those as we go. All right, here's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to build some more furnaces and looms. That way I can make all the royal stuff I need to make the better stuff. All right, so instead of logically buying an island, I just did this to fit in all of that stuff I just mentioned. Plus, I think this little corner here is going to be for power plants to make everything else get going. These actually have a really huge radius, and I never really noticed that before. The only thing I'm going to do right now is focus on making four power plants to fuel everything here, because the faster those are done, the faster everything else is done, and we can get on with this damn idea. Power plant number two going to be slightly offset, because I'm starting to put stuff in the way of each other. But as you can probably hear, everything is now working 50% faster. Another two of those, 100% faster. There is power plant number Number three and just like that there it is now everything within the radius working 100 faster now i can just really power through to that obliterator once again and since we can we're actually just going to start making great skulls they'll just kind of be done when they're done perfect all structures work twice as fast you can just hear production happening they're actually running out of materials already that's how fast they're going you know what i can still have a little more fun with this because i can build multiple shrines i never really thought about doing that all structures work twice as fast sure they're not working fast enough all structures work twice as fast between all of these, I can basically just have permanent buffs or anything I want. We already have enough fiberglass on the way, so that won't be a problem. And before you know it, we'll have the electronics we need. So while I'm waiting for those things to finish, I'm going to start getting my resources ready for lighthouses. Resources drop double items, plus they're working twice as fast currently, and I still have a spare shrine to use. This really probably is the ultimate setup. If you have enough of these shrines, you can always have the buffs going, so things are working like 10,000 times faster than they normally would be. Already, we have enough electronics, so as soon as these are done, they're switching over to fiberglass, and we'll be there. And I've added a few more shrines, just to make sure everything's moving along nicely. I'm going to sacrifice some of my precious resources to build another factory, because I don't want to wait for things to be done. We're getting an obliterator now. And there it is. Use it to destroy anything. I'm also creating more vaults right now to throw all my stuff into. That way when I dig up my newfound island, we're going to see exactly what we're getting out of it. Because the lighthouses tend to block the vision, so we won't really see what's getting dug up. We'll just see the amounts once they're in my inventory. So for now, things like the quarry need to go, things like the mining rods need to go, and then we need to start planning out exactly how we're going to do this. Given the spacing of the lighthouses currently, I think I'm probably going to do it probably about right here, because we're going to need to occupy this spot with lighthouses too. It's just a matter of how big exactly we want to make this magical little island. I'm thinking I'm going to do a 
square of nine spaces for my island because that's how big a lighthouse is so you'll evenly fit them around the outside. So basically in the end these spots right here are going to be the outline of my island. We're going to start adding some lighthouses now to make sure I have enough materials to even do this. This is going to cost a fortune but I am paying attention to how far they're reaching. So the more that can have touching this one spot the better. Brick is actually what we're running out of. Everything's getting much 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 more expensive but we just added another 10-12 lighthouses just like that. Luckily brick is very easy and quick to build but the other resources are going to catch up pretty quick too and they're going to be a lot slower. Which is exactly where my shrines come in again. Double items and structures working twice as fast. So we're getting four times the max speed. Actually I guess the areas around the lighthouse that don't need anything could be land again for shoveling. But the brick still hasn't caught up. Isn't there anywhere I can just find brick? I don't want to wait this long for it. It is costing 2,000 brick per lighthouse though so I think I get it. Though I should be paying more attention to this. Builder. Structures cost half the amount of resources so every time I see one of those I gotta take advantage. As many lighthouses as I could possibly squeeze in right now. Only two. Need brick. So yeah, I'm only going to build around half price structures. 20 seconds later and look how much brick we have. The brick is going up very, very quickly and I really want to take advantage. Well, there's one more very expensive lighthouse. Should we take a little sample seeing as we're getting double resources on top of all this? We'll go maybe right there. Can't read those numbers yet, but they are pretty large. Oh, everything went straight into my things anyway. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to take more scoops, but before I do, I'm going to sell all of this stuff we typically find while scooping to see the amounts. I have no idea how much money that's worth. We're up to 278 billion gold. I still think we need more lighthouses. Looks like we got enough for another one lighthouse for now. There we go. And yep, it's covering it all. These have a way too big radius. While we're at it, we'll refresh the half price builds. Resources drop double items. Well, should we try another scoop since we got it all going for us? What are we going to get out of this? Somehow one paper, but 371 billion sand. If I'm reading that correctly, we should get 371 billion for selling them. Yep, we're up to 1.11 trillion gold. Unfortunately, the game is still running very quite smoothly though. Need to start checking the radiuses again to make sure we still got something going to be worthwhile. Even this one's debatable. But I'm going to do that one and then two there. Keep in mind, each of these boosts by 50% again, which is ridiculous. I'm actually out of stone. So that's a fun little problem. Let's take the magical scrolls. We'll go use them there over by the lighthouse and hopefully we can make some rock spawn somehow. I don't really know what all of these do. Well, this is going to find me a lot of wood, berries, flowers, etc. What about this one? That's trees again. I might just have to build a temporary quarry. That way I can mine it and get the rocks again because I have no other way of getting rocks really. If I think I have enough resources to do so. There we go. All right. How many stones are we going to get? About 2,000 according to that. The game does seem to be not liking whatever is going on. It seems to be a touch leggy at this point. Point. Well, let's see what we can dig up in a scoop. There was 62,000 plastic, 371 billion sand. Yeah, we need a few more lighthouses. We're not done yet. I should take advantage. I got 30 seconds left on half price building. So let's see if we can build a few more of these lighthouses that I like so much. We can get at least one in. One, only one. We still need more brick. Look at that robot I just bought. I'm not even sure what that is, but you're going to go uh, on that one. And just renewed absolutely everything I have to to make this work. I got to get rid of this thing right now before it gives me too much stuff. And I think this is going to be the final lighthouse because it's about the last one that can really reach and do the overlap thing. Now we'll just clear it out, wait for the digging spots to go away. We'll dig everything up and see exactly how much we get and what it's worth. So for now, let's sell everything we just gained. We're at 1.1 trillion right now, so the math is going to start to get a little complicated. We just made 8 trillion gold selling that little bit of stuff. All right, here we go. Hoarder. Resources drop. Double items. That combined with the lighthouse, my inventory is basically empty now. Let's see exactly what we dig up and how many we get and then how much it's worth. I'm thinking a lot. Or the game might have actually just broke. We did get some sand, we did get some stones, crystals, plastic, but not nearly the numbers we should be. I'm not sure if the game did actually break or if this is some kind of weird glitch I'm not understanding. 14 trillion gold. Or the numbers just too big for the game to comprehend? I'm not really sure what happened. Well, I know we're at 14 trillion gold, so we'll let those digging spots go away and try again. Let's make sure the shrines are all going okay, and then we're going to go do one single shovelful. Resources drop double items. This might be starting to glitch it out at this point. I'm not really sure. Anyways, one straight shovelful from right there. What do we got? Oh, I see it now. We just got 247 billion plastic just from that. And most of my other stuff went straight into my inventory, into my vaults, so I don't actually know what it's getting. So what's this worth? Uh, so we started, yeah, that was uh, basically 50 trillion per shovelful at this point. Actually considerably more considering we weren't selling the gems. Which means that yeah, I want to see what it's like when we also sell the gems. Uh, so to start, we'll just sell the gems we already have, which are going to be worth a lot because I found 193 billion rubies. I hope the game likes math. 
I don't think it's even moving anymore. I think it's just unlimited. I don't know if that moved. One more time. My digging spots are cleared out. It's getting dark, so we gotta hurry. I need my double resource shrine, then we're good to go. Perfect. Resources drop double items. One more time. Off we go with the shovel. My inventory is empty. One shovel full right there, say. We get any gems out of the deal? We did. We got 247 billion emeralds. Plus 742 billion sand. So we just picked up 1 trillion items. 1 trillion items in one shovel full. Well, that was fun. I can't wait to see what else we do with this. If you have any more ideas, do let me know.